The great thing about PowerPoint is that you can animate charts. So you can use chart animation. Let's see first how it looks like and then I will show you how to do that in practice. So here we've got the waterfall that we have previously discussed where we show the number of uh, stores that we can build in different types of city. We've got the current number of stores and then the target number of stores. So obviously I can show everything at once or I can do it step by step. Here we have to click in order for specific number of stores related to specific category of cities to appear. We can also group certain elements. So for example, first we show current number of stores, then the increase by different types of city. And at the end, we can show the total number of stores that we can potentially reach. We can also time it. So here you can see that I don't have to press. It's just automatically released after some time. To see the full capacity of PowerPoint animation of charts, let's use a little bit more complicated stacked column chart. So we've got three series shown in five years. Every data series is responsible for different business unit. So the first option is to show it by series. So business units. So first we show dentists, then doctors, others. We can show the very same data by years. Or we can show specific element in the data series year by year. So here you can see how they appear one by one. And the same effect we can do, but this time around for every year, there are three business units one by one. So first dentist for the first year, GP doctors for the first year and others for the first year. And then the very same we do for year two, three, four and five. So as you can see, a very nice option. And now let's see how we can do that in practice. So open file charts in PP version four. And let's start with trying to put some animation on the first waterfall slide. So in order to do that, we first have to go to animation, pick one of the types of animation we want to do, let's say fade. And once you do that, you will see that a new option will appear, effect options. And here, given this type of chart, we can do it by category. And now we will see the preview. Every element will appear after clicking with the mouse as we have shown you. However, if you go to animation pane, you can change it. So for example, we can do it in such a way that they appear one after another one and after some time. So this time around, if we go to the preview, you will see that they will appear automatically. I don't have to press anything after some time. Obviously, I can play with the duration of the effect and put some delay between each and every part. In other words, you can create animation, which is automatically presented without you doing anything. So you can, for example, discuss the subject in the meantime. As we said, we can also group the things. So for example, we can have some of the elements appear at the same time. So let's say the internal ones, we just want to appear at once. So now once I press the first five will appear and then the last one. Now let's go to slide 37. And here I'm going to show you how to do the more complicated animations. So we do exactly the same thing. First, I pick one of the animation effects, let's say fade, and then effect options will appear by series. It will look like this by categories. It will look like this by elements in series. And similar to that by elements in category. As you can see in preview, they move on their own. However, for time being, you have to click on them. If you want to change that, again, you would have to go here and play with that. So either change this to start after previous and then have some duration and delay or group as we did in the previous chart. So that's in short, play with the animation because this may be very useful once you want to present certain things in more dynamic way.